not allowed inside Chef's cottage, Mr. Lefter. Well, that doesn't look creepy. The music and the ominous slow zoom. <laughs> we hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. Enjoy. This is made images on each. Oh no, they're going to be horrible images, aren't they? But I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. Oh my god, what is this? It's weird, isn't it? It's it is tense. very weird. <laughs> Chef will speak with you now in his office. What would you do in this situation? I would, I would go with him. I'd probably go into the kitchen and then try and grab a knife and leg it or something. Hello and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name is Sean and behind the camera we have Tom. What's up? And today we're carrying on with the uh, January Patreon pickers. Just what people have voted for on Patreon for what we're watching. Um, last week it was Saltburn, which was a very weird film, but was uh, reminiscent of uh, Parasite, the, one, the film that actually... about Saltburn. <laughs> um, yeah, it was very similar to Parasite, which won an Oscar, but um, if you haven't checked out that reaction, go check it out now. But today, we're watching a film that I, have, I haven't watched, but Tom has. So for all, alas, those, alas. For all those people that comment down below in the, uh, in the comment section saying, oh, you've, you've already seen this before, why don't you, why have you put it as first time reaction? I'm reacting to it first time. <laughs> We're all here for Sean's reaction, and I might <laughs> actually be in certain moments of this film like, like this, like staring over at you. No one could see that, mate. <laughs> You're on the other side of the camera. <laughs> um, um, but anyway, uh, the, 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 the film is called The Menu. Do you know anything about it? I've seen a couple of trailers, I know who's in it, but I don't know their names because I'm terrible <laughs> with names. Grace Fiennes, who Ray plays Fiennes, Voldemort. Voldemort, yeah. Um, and um, who's oh the girl? God. Nicholas Holt. Who's the girl? Uh, she was out of... Uh, uh, Anya so Taylor-Joy. That's it. She's going to be in the new Mad Max film that's coming out. Right. Furious. That's true. Um, but the vibe I get is people go to like a, like a, a paradise island or some of some sorts or a, or or, or go, get a ticket to this restaurant that is or this this uh, resort that is very you know pristine and then maybe they start killing people and serving <laughs> them to it's there's there's a lot of well we're it's safe, called the menu it's a lot of, guys sure has no idea yeah i mean <laughs> it's called the menu so it has to do with something to do with the food or a twist of some sorts but um, yeah, I have no idea, I have no idea so yeah, I'm excited so, to get into it. But uh, if you want to watch the full length reaction along with us, uh, link in the description for our Patreon page is down below. Sean, did you know we're almost at 95k subs? Almost, almost at 95k, k I, I'm, I just want the 100k. <laughs> you want the play button so it can go there. Well, here? Yeah. That'll be, yeah, it'll be all right if I just play it. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe button, uh, and let's get into the video. And before we get into today's video, I'd just like to introduce today's sponsor, FlexiSpot. And thank you to FlexiSpot for sending us their XL3 recliner. Elevate your relaxation with the reclining, lifting, and massage FlexiSpot Massage Lift Recliner AX3. With its sturdy load-bearing frame and multiple reclining angle adjustments, this recliner is a super customizable and relaxing experience. Not only does it have the features I've just mentioned before, but get this, it also has a heated vibration massage control system. Using this remote here, you can customize the way you relax. With five massage modes, back massage, lumbar massage, thigh, leg, and setting the massage duration, you can also power on the heat mode, which allows you to stay comfy for longer. You can choose to position this in front of your TV for a home cinema vibe. I personally have took this away in my nice reading corner and use it regularly in the evenings to accentuate my relaxation before bed. So head over to FlexiSpot's website. The link in the description is down below. Here you can get the recliner at a reduced rate of only £250. Coming in brown or black colours. This is an absolute steal. So head over to the description below, you'll see two links, one to the recliner and the other to all other FlexiSpot's sofa products. Thank you once again FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the video. 
please don't smoke, it'll kill your palate. Then my palate will die happy. I actually rate Nicholas Holt as an actor. Yeah, no, I, I did. He made some weird choices, but... Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And she's a great actress as well. Go with the flow. Let it be magical. Okay. It's your dime. There's snobs in every kind of field, but food snobs... Yeah. Every time, if you see, like, those steak cooking videos, the comments are either, like, it's too well done or it's too <laughs> yeah. rare. Hawthorne, all aboard! And I've asked me heart, is it hope she see where the A? What's he most well known for? Playing Sid the Sloth in Ice Age. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mad. With a raw local oyster and a mignonette emulsion with lemon caviar and an oyster leaf. Enjoy. Beautiful. Thank this you. is going to make me hungry, isn't it? Yes. She clearly doesn't no. appreciate it or know it as much yeah. as he does. <laughs> oh my god. It's laughable. <laughs> and, and they're together. Mm. I think I prefer just the oyster though. She almost looks fed up with him already. Miss West Welcome. This is Miss. I'm Margo. What? Nice to meet you. I think he was gonna take someone out. Yeah. <laughs> How new is this relationship? Jesus. It almost seems like a first date, doesn't it? Yeah. This type of event though, like surely you would be quite intrigued and and excited about it. She looks literally bored. Anytime I see bees in films, I just think of Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Not the bees. We use the meat of dairy cows only. I think it'd be amazing if it, it was an actual island that produced all of their ingredients from yeah. that island and then had a restaurant on that island. It'd be this sick. Smokehouse. So what happens if you serve it on the 153rd day? Does all hell break loose or? Well, I suppose the bacteria would introduce itself to the consumer's bloodstream and spread into their spinal membranes, after which point he or she would become incapacitated and shortly thereafter expire. What? This is where we live. You actually live here, all of you? All of us. It's like military. Yeah. You guys ever get burnt out or? Burned out? Same thing. Chef holds himself to the highest standard, and so do we. We never burn anything unless by design. They don't seem human. <laughs> she doesn't. Uh, no. Elsa, Elsa, hi. Uh, who lives there? Chef. Oh, can we see that? Even we are not allowed inside Chef's cottage, Mr. Lefford. Well, that doesn't look creepy. The music and the ominous slow zoom. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's like a, a haunted barn, it looked like. Cooking shows like professional shows just give me anxiety when they're going so fast there. <laughs> they're going so fast yet yeah, it's such precision. Miss Mills. Miss Mills, you will be sitting in this Westervelt seat. <laughs> Alright, you don't need to reiterate that. that, yeah. Photograph our dishes. Chef strongly feels that the beauty in his creations lies in their ephemeral nature. Do you make that with a Paco jet? Exactly right, sir. And, and chef, is he around here somewhere? I'd love to talk with him. Why don't you take him. your seat? We're about to serve. I wonder if he's a chef or he's a, like, I want to be cook if he knows so much and so passionate about it. Look at me. Is he looking at me? No, uh, she wasn't invited. I guess they just don't know much about her, but they know everything about mm. everyone else, which is interesting. Years, this opportunity has been, uh, the best of your life, and let's have to I'm starting to Oh my god! I'm all the caffeine jabs. I have so many. I, so it's, uh, it's okay that I'm not as into this as you are? Oh, no, no, it's good. You know how people idolize, you know, athletes and musicians and painters and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those people are idiots. <laughs> I have to beg of you one thing. Do not eat. Taste. And on that note, food. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> what a rock on a plate. Enjoy. This guy's a nutter. What the chef? Yeah, he's a nutcase. Lives on his own. Doesn't allow anyone to visit. Or a genius. The fine line. Evil genius. Fine line between madness and genius. Oh, Flavours are there. It's very clean. It's very, um, thalassic. Thalassic? It is so pretentious, pretentious as hell. I mean, I've had shellfish just as good with my chef at home, Ricardo. You know, Ricardo oh. is amazing. Oh no. <sighs> Whatever. Everyone's bad mouthing it. Or, in, a, in a way. Or being pretentious in their own way. Yeah. yeah.
didn't like the fact that he took some food. Yeah. And how did Jesus teach us to pray if not to beg for our daily bread? <laughs> this guy. He's annoying me. Breadless. No bread. bread savory compliments. Huh? It's breadless bread. Why call it bread then? If it's there's no bread in there. I mean, it's next level badassery. The way he weaves in. His Is he the only one that seems to like it? Yeah. Wait, you you like this? Uh huh. Oh yeah. He's basically insulting you. But I think she's also being quite a bit of a bitch. She knows that he's absolutely into this. Yeah, so maybe. So you should. So she should go along with it. Yeah. Could we please get a little bread, you know, and some gluten free for my friend as well? No. You haven't touched your food. There is no food. <laughs> but I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. Oh my god, what is this? It's weird, isn't it? It's it is tense. very weird. <laughs> this is my mother. My father came home quite drunk. He proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. And he made a dish called memory. Why would you ever want to create that horrible memory? You would want to. You would want to create a good, a nice yeah. memory. We change our menu constantly, but as Miss Bloom knows, this has been a staple since day one. These people in blue around in the background are just starting to. I'm starting to notice them a little bit more. Oh yeah. And they're all in darkness. Yeah. A bit odd. We hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. Enjoy. So he's made images on each Oh no, they're going to be horrible images, aren't they? Or their memories. Richard, what are these? Taco things for the tacos. No, the, the pictures, they're, they're all of us. They're on me from tonight taking fucking photos. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's not good. What the hell are these? These are tortillas. <laughs> Records and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. Well, yeah, this place close by the morgue, you guys in? Oh, no, that won't be necessary. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he targeting everyone, the chef? Or maybe because the memory, his memory is, me, sir, is upsetting. Hi. Did you just fucking snap at me? I shouldn't have called you a child. You're fucking acting. Tyler, you need to apologize to me right now. You cannot speak to me that way. Actually, I can because ding dong, I'm the one who's paying, so maybe shut up and eat. <gasps> oh my god. This is incredible. You have to try this. No thanks. Don't let me interrupt. Say the right thing. Yeah. Just looking for the ladies' room. Right this way. I need to know. Why don't you eat? This is eerie. But I think he likes her the most. Shouldn't be here tonight. Oh, he's giving me chills. He's giving me. You shouldn't be here tonight. Is it because he's aiming to kill everyone? And he doesn't want to kill anyone he doesn't know is bad? Of course, of course. Jeremy created the next dish. It's called The Mess. The mess you make of your life, of your body, of your sanity. What the? I knew <laughs> something. I thought they were gonna bring out a goat or something to like slaughter on that white. Oh my god! I was a shock. I didn't see that coming. He doesn't even yeah. care. Don't tell me that's human. R.I.P. Jeremy. Enjoy. I'm, sp <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm speechless. <laughs> what the hell is this place? He's just as nuts. What, the... Yeah. Boyfriend. There is no boat to leave on. Then I'll call a helicopter. That would be very difficult without phone service. Jesus, just do what they say. No, I can, take I can, I'll, I'll handle this. With which hand will you handle this? Left hand. Ring finger. What? Ring finger? Oh no. What are they doing? What is going on? What is he doing? He has no idea what's going on. He's the only one still sitting down eating. 
Your husband's ring, madam. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. This this waitress is actually hilarious. Like a really she's my favorite character. Oh my These goodness. are tortillas. <laughs> Tortilla. Chef Smolik would like to see you in the kitchen. People right. that are eating the food, are they going a bit weird? He's literally, he's a, he's a eaten more than anyone. Oh, I see what you mean. He's eaten more than anyone, and they are starting to go, <laughs> this is delicious. My name is Marco. I've served many Margos, you're not a Margo. What the fuck does it matter? In order to proceed, I have to know where to seat you. With us, or with them. And then you'll let me live? That you live, no. <laughs> What the hell is... <laughs> why? Why? I'm living, what, I'm living Sean's reactions. What's the purpose? What is the purpose? Fuck it. I'm gonna break the fucking window. Oh my god! Ah! 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 
undercooked lamb in edible shallot leek butter sauce. It's <laughs> a lack of what knowledge did it say? <laughs> You're right, it's the fraud, isn't it? Mm. The people that comment on everything. Yes. Like the Twitter persona. Yeah. So, Mongo, you will fetch the barrel instead. Oh my god. The thing that I, I couldn't get my head around is that these other chefs are going along with him. The Kagad. But it, that. it seems like it used to be a normal restaurant. Yeah, and he's, he's had this power and influence over people. What school did you go to? Brown. Student loans? No. I'm sorry, you're dying. What? Because she's from a rich background, I guess, because she doesn't have student loans. Because he hates the rich. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're that. dying. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. She said no, I got in on a that's hilarious. scholarship. He sleeps in a replica of the kitchen. No one is allowed inside Chef's house. <laughs> oh my god, she's like the Terminator. Yeah. Oh! Why is everyone insane? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Clear the dining room immediately. I got a report of disturbance. He looks terrible. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you? Yes, 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 yes. Would you like his autograph? I don't. I don't have a. No, we have a pen. We help. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands on your head, oh, everyone. Oh, now, no, no, no. You're, you're joking. You're joking. <laughs> oh my God! What is going to happen, Tom? <laughs> you, on your knees with your hands over your head now. Yeah. They can't possibly think that the one person against a whole fucking chef crew. He's a part of it! <laughs> Did you see that one coming? <laughs> you know, before it happened, I saw the barrel of his gun and I was like, that's quite a big, like, barrel. Final course, plating in five. Yes, sir! I don't like your food. What did you say? I said, I don't like your food and I would like to send it back. She's gonna make him cook a hamburger and it's gonna make him happy again. <laughs> You're still hungry? Yes, I am. How hungry? Starved. What are you hungry for? What do you have? Everything. You know what I'd really like? Tell me. A cheeseburger. We can do a cheeseburger. I knew it. As soon as I saw the picture of him flipping the burgers, I was like, that's, and he was smiling. I was like, that's gonna come into play. And he's cooking. One cheeseburger to go. Is this the story of a fancy restaurant becoming a burger place? <laughs> <laughs> it's the origin of McDonald's. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is everyone going to start asking for cheeseburgers? Wait, is he, let, is he letting everyone go? Thank you for dining with us tonight. And now our final dessert course is the s'more. I would have been like, can I get a cheeseburger, please? I think there's something to be said for the fact that nobody's just saying anything. Yeah. Like, blindly going along with it. Yeah. We must embrace the flame. I love you all. We love you, chef! Look, they're just sitting there. So this is actually a comedy as well, as a horror like, slash thriller. Is surprisingly funny. Interesting. Okay. The menu. Yeah, the menu. Twenty twenty three. Um. Yeah. No, or twenty twenty two. I think it was a bit. Twenty twenty three. It probably was. The menu. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. Oh, twenty twenty two. Okay. Um. Interesting. Mm. Um, the concept itself is put together like a um, like a tasting course, isn't it? 
So like and and the, there's like yeah, chapters yeah 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 and how they reveal them and it's it's uh I like that I like the yeah. parallels between um, the theme and mm. how the how the how the narrative yeah how it is gradually, constructed how it gradually reveals itself as to what the well gradually and then there's a big turn when the guy shoots himself <laughs> <laughs> yeah but certainly with each of the characters and their backgrounds that gets revealed uh, slowly yeah. in the course of the. And, of and one of the things that I actually said at the beginning, I really want to know more about the relationship between uh, the girlfriend and boyfriend at the time. I thought, yeah. um, and it, and they did reveal it in a I very yeah. very like I, unexpected yeah. unexpected way. And I didn't catch it the first time I watched it, but but he obviously hired her yeah. to come along. Yeah. So it just shows that he his kind of selfishness and just how he uses people to get what he he wants himself. Well, that's the thing. Like, it, the the massive deal with, uh, um, or the massive issue that the chef had with people, uh, uh, givers and takers. Yeah. Like he, he is a giver and, and the boyfriend was just a taker. He <laughs> hired someone for it's that def- type of thing. It's definitely a hundred percent a comment on like modern society and how frivolous and indulgent people are. Yeah. And it's also a comment on class as well. Yeah. Because that's partly why he associated himself with her. Yeah. And saw himself in her. Yeah. But that's I the think obvious that thing, people, yeah. when they first watch this film, see it for the 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 thrilling nature of it and the surprises that come and the shock. What, and you don't think people look past that? And I don't think they look past that. I certainly, watching it the second time... Because I knew what was coming and you I wasn't so shocked, I was more focused on the details, the detail, and the dialogue. Yeah. And I think for me, it was a I like that part of the film more. way more, like the mm. social commentary of it. Yeah. Um, Did you watch it at the cinema? No, I watched it um, oh, okay. at home. Yeah. Without me, without them, <laughs> you bastard. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but um, you said it's like. A comedy. It's more of a comedy. There's I definitely think. comedy in there. I think it's definitely. brilliant comedy. It's but it's like it's a, like but a also I feel fine like line. I feel like the comedy is targeted against those people that the, that he dislikes, isn't it? Oh, 100 percent. And and it's I don't know. It's just um... look produced by Adam McKay and Will Ferrell. Oh, interesting. Adam McKay is the director of uh, Step Brothers and. And uh, did Anchorman, Anchorman, right? Anchorman, yeah. But he yeah. also did like The Big Short and he's done a few serious yeah. kind of dramas as yeah. well. But but, um, but it, yeah, I, so I do... And I, I do... Having read that, actually, I understand the humour a little bit more. The humour is very childlike. With the, with the, with the hench woman, uh, you know, uh, I don't think executive it's childlike. Chef. I don't think it's childlike. I think no, no, no. Not, when I say childlike, like, like the example of her going... They're tortillas. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like I mean that. It's like yeah. very um, patronising <laughs> yeah. comedy. I uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like like I think that's what I think that's how you define that the comedy is patronising. But it's patronising towards the people that it targets, and that's why it's so funny because you know they, they they these people obviously have a lot of money and they think they're it. You know those people that those three lads that are around that table said, "Do you know who we are?" Like to be able to be patronising towards those type of people yeah. is, is something that you really want uh, yeah and it's funny to see one thing I understood more watching it the second time is Nicholas Holt's character because I thought he was just insane nuts the first time I yeah. watched it but actually it was under the weight of his own kind of f- being a fraud yeah. that, that made yeah. him crumble at the end there yeah. like it's, he he, it's he was pretending to of, he was, reflective of the people in society that comment on everything yeah. and and pretend with their ego that they're experts and they know everything. But he's pretending to be something that he's not. And, yeah, he's pretending to be yeah. something that he's not, and but, he got called out for yeah, it. Yeah, but him and uh, Annie Taylor Joy and Ray Fiennes especially, mm. they're just quality in this. Yeah. I really think they're great in this. Yeah, and it's so unique. I've never seen a film mm. like this. I don't really know how to 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 say this um, and I'd probably have to think about it a, a little deeper but this is just me off the cuff trying to trying to you know div- divulge what I'm trying to think but I really liked the um, the story of Chef Ray Fiennes' character I really liked the fact that he started out loving his job um, and 
under the pressure of what society of people's expectations and also his, people ruining it in that they don't care yeah themselves. they don't care his job then was more refined to become a an artistic experience rather than just a simple but but with it but that artistic, satisfaction that artistic experience just became hollow didn't yeah it? no that exactly that's what i'm saying like like rather it's it lost its essence it's mm. um you know it was empty the one thing that i couldn't get my head around though is that how does everybody go along with it at the end like and the chefs included like he seems to have this hypnotic effect mm. on people where they're all kind of well i thought he was putting something in the it. food to, yeah. to make people that way but then but... is it just like another comment on the fact that people are sheep just don't even think for themselves maybe maybe yeah, and what, what and what they just they accept yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, because because he's so invested in his finale and mm. and his I like, statement. I like, they, I like, they, I like that comment him. because I like that idea because when people watch films and sometimes you speak to film fans, they will tell you on, on what a film means, right, mm. and what the purpose is behind it. But in actuality. It is what you take away from it, isn't it? You don't I, need to I, agree well, with the, the person. Well, that's the thing. I think. I think. Um, I think there's a, you know, interpretation that the filmmaker has, and that's what the film is mm. in his eyes. But once he releases it to the to, to people, um, they can gather their own interpretation from their own experiences. And and it's something that I heard. Um, a music artist actually say mm. you know they write songs for them but once they've released those songs it's now the people's song yeah and there's, yeah. A, there's some sort of like weight lifted from their yeah. from their shoulders so I think 100% films what you think of them your opinion on them whether you think they're good whether you think they're not how they impacted you whether it was emotional whether it is laughter it's all down into to, to interpretation and um uh, to the individual and that's why everyone should just be accepting of our scores yeah and speaking of scores Sean what is your score what's the score um so we've obviously just focused on the the positives the negatives I mean the, the score was great the score was good the score. the score was good <laughs> um I think maybe some of the secondary characters were a bit Kind of caricature-ish, but that's the whole point, isn't it? They're meant to be kind of embodiments of yeah, sin, a bit shallow, or, I guess, or negative human characteristics. Yeah, um, I mean, I, you know, I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. Out yeah, of 10. I was gonna. That was exactly my score. That I was gonna give it. I actually liked it more the second time as well. What would you have rated it before, like, when you first watching it? Before we watched it again, what would you have rated it? I didn't... I was actually... The first time I watched it, I really... Like, I was invested in the shock and the thrills of it, and mm. I saw it more in the lens... Through the lens of kind of, I guess, just, uh, horror or thriller. Thriller, yeah. Uh, but I didn't like the ending. You didn't like no, it? No, I just... I, I, it felt so uncanny and... Uh, sickening the whole like explosion killing everyone kind of thing but I, I like the ending way more this time in terms of Anya Taylor-Joy being on the boat and looking back and eating the burger and stuff yeah um, it's, a, it's a very interesting ending I think it's gone up I think it's gone up but I yeah. probably would have rated it like 7.5 or yeah. something yeah um, but what, what would you guys rate it do you agree with our scores I mean there's so much there's so much in this film to you know unravel hmm um, that I feel like our initial discussion just after watching it won't do this this film justice. Um, you know, I I want to talk about it more. Uh, I want to think about it more. Um, but what what did you guys take from it? Mm. Um, mm. Did you vote for it just because you wanted to see our shock reactions at the uh, shooting scene, or did things? you want us to watch it to discuss it in the comments? Yeah, what yeah. you do thought? You have a, do you have a deeper interpretation of the film yeah. yourselves? Yeah. But if you want to watch the full-length reaction along with us, check out our Patreon page down in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And go over there and subscribe to the lowest tier on Patreon to vote for the films that we watch on the channel. Yes, yes. Uh, but without further ado, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.